most dudes got the deal. I'm the biggest deal. See what I'm doing here? Yeah. Turn those off a little. It's just courtesy to the captain. Was that a two step? You just did? I love it when you want two step. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, uh, I'm going to cut them apart here so we just have a snap. This is going to be sliding on the line and then the beauty of that is that we can interchange weight sizes because if you throw down the four and it's not enough, we can just take that off the snap. Oh, it's real quick. Yeah. So basically, I'm just getting rigged at this point. I want to get everything rigged so once we're properly rigged, then we'll start catching Fishing. sturgeon in this yeah. area. But, but the, the, key key thing thing the key thing is, is being rigged. Hashtag rigged. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Aaron and I are right below this, uh, what would you call that? Rapids. Rapids area, thanks. More aggressive than riffles. And we're targeting sturgeon today. Lake sturgeon. Lake, looking for big lake sturgeon. That's kind of the goal. We just got in the water, super excited. And we're fishing in this real fast current right over here. So let's get it on a roll. roll buddy. What do you got there? Well, it's a sturgeon. He almost ripped the rod yeah. out of my hands. You're giving me some pro tips and then I turn. And the, that might, sure that's not a snag? I'm pretty sure the way it's been pulling. Oh. That's it's awesome. coming up. Yeah. It's coming up. Yeah. You got to duck down when they jump because you don't want them hitting you when you jump into the yeah. pool. I've never been here before. We're on a section of the Winnipeg River. Uh, you got fast flowing water and a little bit of a neck down here. Anywhere you've got heavy current in the spring, the sturgeon run into because they spawn in these areas. Big. Yeah, thing. that's awesome. Oh, look, another one that just wasn't jumped. Even him, that yeah. wasn't even him. No. He, he might be, you, you know what? Spawn. Yeah. I think we. The uh, unmentionable? We wacky rigged this sturgeon. <laughs> Uncut angling, I know this is not uncut angling. We snag so many fish, it's insane. You think we're doing it on purpose. <laughs> this oh. is like, this is where the viewer's like, oh, you should have just cut the line, you drowned that sturgeon. <laughs> it, it sucks because it went from being a 55 incher to being a 35 incher once he's hooked in the tail. A wacky worm 35 incher. Yeah. Well, there's so many sturgeon around that I guess you're bound. To just bump one. Yeah, to hook one like this once in a while. Come on, buddy. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't hook them cleanly, but it's a sturgeon. They yeah. cruise around on the bottom, and they suck everything up, and I guess he swam over top of it and hooked himself foully. There he goes. Cool. <laughs> Still good to get some slime. Okay, let's hook one in the mouth, John. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, well, Aaron had that one, and then first cast back down there, missed his solid bite, and this one comes flying out of the water. I should have got that, maybe. That was epic. That was so epic. Don't go crazy on him because that hook could rip out. I'm just using a combination of some, I know I already mentioned this, but live worms and minnows and using like heavy, heavy weights because there's like a ton of current here. He might come up again. He's, he's acting like he wants to do some crazy stuff. Oh, that's so cool. They're awesome. Prehistoric like almost. Shark. Yeah, it's, well, yeah. They're, they're super yeah. easy to grab by the tail, yeah. right? Yeah. Easier than a salmon. Does this camera float? Oh, oh my goodness, look at that fish. Wow. My first ever dinosaur, and it's not a terrible one, too. It's been on my bucket list to catch one of these, and I finally did it. And this one is just absolutely. Um, Quick close up on that. That's nice. That's beautiful. Right in the car too. So it's good to wear bibs when you're catching big fish like this. Gonna get a quick picture, then put them back. Awesome fish though. Look at that. That is so cool. So so cool. <clears throat> no better way to confirm it is a male and it is spawning. <laughs> it is spawning, yeah. <laughs> Going for the lease. Beautiful fish. These guys are like majestic. Look at him. Back in the water. Safe and sound, but he lost all of his reproduction. Um and is now on me, so. This is this is me being a part of the surgeon spawn. Woo! I get it. I've never seen that. No. Way to go. That yeah, was cool. I've honestly never seen that. Yeah, that was awesome. I mean, that was awesome. That was kind of cool. Immediately after uh, my fish, Aaron gets out there. Thought he was. I. We both thought he was snagged, but it looks like a fish. So. There's just so much. It is tree. moving, not like a rock. So it might be a fish. Look at the digs. I see him. Yeah, me too. Not much bigger. Same size. Yeah, same size. Let's get a jump though. 
A little bit bigger, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you ready? I'm gonna go for the grab. Got him. Wow. <laughs> I can't hook one in the mouth, man. <laughs> What's wrong with me? It's a nice fish, though. Isn't like that a little, awesome? It's like a vacuum. That's they, how I would describe it. They feel along with those barbels and then suck everything up that comes by. You, you unhook that one. Where's the hook again? Oh, right there. Right, not in the mouth there. <laughs> Their gills are black. What's that all? Yeah, about? really dark. That's kind of strange. I gotta re a position here. Uh -huh. Tell them not to move. Hey. They're so weird. So cool. awesome though. Not from the surf. That one's gotta be mastering it. This is pretty heavy. Was yours this big? I don't think so. That's pretty it's heavy. Bigger, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Let's see it. Oh, that's pretty good release. That was cool. So, like I said, we're out here on what's the river again? Winnipeg River. Winnipeg River. Winnipeg River, and it connects to Lake of the Woods. The Elko Lake of the Woods into into Winnipeg Lake, right? Lake Winnipeg. Lake Winnipeg, yeah. yeah. And using some live bait and salted emerald shiners. Truthfully, and I'm being 100% honest, have not used live worms in years, but when I use live worms, the last time I used them, I was using them for like bluegill, bass, not giant prehistoric sturgeon here in Manitoba. So the ideal presentation is something like this. If you guys notice that fish's mouth was faced towards the bottom. This is the worms. This is what the worm formula looks like. Something real wriggly and crawly like that. Something very disgusting. And then you take the shiner, just one, nothing insane and hook it right in the head like that. See, it's, it's kind of loose, like that shiner's not wriggling around and it's probably gonna fall off as soon as I get down there on my first cast. So what you wanna do is take some really dried up gulp, which isn't hard to do. You can get these things dried up pretty quick. Clip a little bit off, something like that, and you're just gonna hook it right on there so it kind of keeps everything together. Uh, meanwhile, I hope Aaron doesn't look back here because his back of the boat is just covered in a uh, little bit of worm juice. So we're gonna wipe that off, pretend like he's not paying attention oh god um snagged again or is it just yeah, snagged again. <laughs> <laughs> the day is really slowing down there the exposure is a little let's turn that up well well there we go there's the aperture days really slow down we did not get much action after that we saw some massive like really massive sturgeon do some acrobatics you were on the phone what, that was for about it. For about 20 minutes. Yeah. But then what were you doing then? With Several 20-minute phone calls. Oh, were you just not fishing? I was were you were, you're waiting for me? My fishing buddy was gonna join me to catch some big sturgeon. So we are now heading off the water. We caught some decent sturgeon today, and we're gonna get some some stuff done for a bigger trip that is coming up. I think it's a five-day road trip all the way up north for mostly giant. Do you want to say the species or? I don't know. I don't know. What are we going for? Pike. Pike. Yeah. Big fat pike. Big giant pike. Yeah. So that's on the next to-do list from Sturgeon and we're doing that tomorrow bright and early but now we got to get prepped for it because it's a five-day trip we got to get some licorice and some other stuff at the grocery store some essentials lots of licorice yeah you can kill it you can rip it just let her go see ya I got a 30 on my jersey even though you can't hear me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.